Okay, fine. So how many of you uh, freshers? How many are working employees? Uh, I am working. Sir. You're working employee. Okay, so yeah, fine. So working as a manual tester? Uh, yes, sir. Most is okay. manual. Okay. What about others? Everyone is special or anybody is working employee? No issues. No issues. So, uh, friends, brief myself. My name is Ravikant. Ravikant Nela. I'm your uh, senior mentor. So, I was uh, giving you a course for a complete package for Selenium automation, like Java, Selenium, DevOps, framework, and project. End to end, I was going to uh, deliver for you batch. So, um, most of the people will have a question. Uh, who can take this course? Who can take this course? Selenium automation. Yes, the people who are freshers, the people who are experienced, the people who are non IT. Yes, any kind of people are eligible for to take this course. Okay. And next question is, what is the prerequisite to take the Selenium automation? Yes, some programming knowledge is like required for to take this Selenium automation. Yes, what kind of languages uh, the Selenium supports means? It supports Java, C sharp, Ruby, Python, R language, R language, Data, Scala, PHP. Uh, P okay, what is that? Uh, R language, Dart language, Scala, PHP, uh, Go programming, Haskell, etc., etc. Many more languages are supported uh, to work with the Selenium tool. Selenium is a tool which associated with some languages. Any one of language you prefer uh, uh, to develop your uh, using Selenium automation tool. So as this course is uh, designed for uh, Java with the Selenium, so we go first with the core Java. Hello, ma'am. Uh, well, actually, Selenium tool. Uh, yesterday night. Uh, friends, getting some uh, Kindly, can so you please? Actually, he has studied for the unit test. Can he write the unit test and come back? Uh, not in the classroom, at least in the office. Okay, fine. For Java and Selenium and uh, DevOps and uh, framework and uh, project. So these things we are covering our course so first we'll start with code java because uh, if you want to become as a good programmer if you want to become as a good automation engineer you must be technically sounds good technical in the sense what what language you are using to build your automation scripts that language you must be uh, perfect in that so i can show you the official website for selenium will be the selenium.dev is an official website so here we go. In the banner we can see Selenium automates browsers. That's it. What you do with that power is entirely up to you. Friends, Selenium is an automation tool which automates browsers only. Browsers means web applications. The applications which are open through browser, those are called web applications. So my Selenium 100% automates only uh, web applications, not a window desktop application. That's it. Selenium automates browsers. That's it. What you do with that power is entirely up to you. The power is nothing but not a boost, not a multi. Yes, the thing is, the power of that is for Selenium is language binding. Any one of language you can prefer uh, in knowing the concepts, then we can using the Selenium tool, we can build any automation scripts. So we prefer Core Java as a, a base programming language for work with Selenium. Yes. What concepts in Core Java will be learning? Yes. So we'll be learning about what is a project, what is a package, what is a Java class, interfaces, abstract classes, method of overloading, overriding, overriding loops, polymorphism, constructors, loopings, decision making statements, single dimensional array, two dimensional array, user defined array, if conditions. Okay, uh, switch cases, decision making statements, loopings, 
scalar classes, variable types, data types and its default values, type cast, Java inheritance, axis, non-axis modifiers. Okay, now strings, uh, Java strings, uh, debugging, exception handling, collections, file systems. All these concepts will be covered. What are the concepts I de I have de delivered right now? Each and every concepts we are uh, will be uh, have the uh, knowledge on it. So after completion of this Java only, we'll go with the Selenium because what to do, when to do, how to do. If you know know the concepts of core Java, how can you build that? So here banner it was clearly saying that what you do with that power is entirely up to you. The power is nothing but uh, the program knowledge, whatever the program you selected to build your Selenium automation scripts on that program, core, core OOPS concepts must be aware of it. Even if you want to become as a good programmer in development aspect or testing aspect, uh, programming knowledge is must that too. OOPS concepts, any programming language, uh, OOPS concepts is a basic OOPS concepts is required to work with the Selenium. Okay, now, so uh, here friends, uh, uh, I will give very clear picture on each and every concept in java concepts whatever i i have discussed right now uh, i'll give the concept and i'll give some assignments um pro references for practicing the programs and technically you must be sounds good means not knowing the knowing the concepts you must be also aware of doing the programs also okay now i'll make hands free uh, how to work with programs also while giving the concepts and after that um one more struggle people will face a uh, like uh, troubleshootings. Okay, once you know the concepts, where to do, how to do, when to do, when you come to know, then you start writing the programs. Okay, uh, yes, uh, when you write the programs, when we uh, run the programs, there is a chance of occurring of runtime errors in the runtime, right? So we would we would have to uh, um, diagnose that. We have to diagnose it where exactly the issue was. So most of the people will uh, struggle there itself. In he seeing here and there who will support us. So don't take anyone's support, friends. It just make friendship with the debugging. Okay. <laughs> so debugger is one of the uh, uh, where it supports to debug that uh, supposed to debug that your test case tips. Suppose we have 20 lines of uh, 20 sequence lines uh, of one program is there. Suppose in 20 lines, uh, suppose at particular eighth line some issue occurred. Uh, where it is, what, what it is, we don't know. So exactly, we have to find where it is exactly. So while debugging step by step execution only, we'll come to know where exactly the issue was. We can troubleshoot easily. So how to debug the scripts also, I will tell you that. So I'll tell you the basic concepts of uh, language, and uh, I'll give some assignments, and I'll I will make you understand how to debug the scripts um, step by step. Everything I'll give a very clear picture on it. So once after completion of Core Java. Then we go with the Selenium automation tool. Of course, we have various automation tools are available in the market, but Selenium has become more popular. Uh, so it's a user friendly, and we under uh, we have so many components, uh, third party tools are which are supported to build a uh, Selenium day to day. Yes, let me show you that. Friends, in Selenium is a tool which has some components, which has some components. Selenium web driver. Selenium ID and Selenium Grid. Of course, we also have Selenium RC also. RC means remote controller, okay? Web driver, ID, Grid, RC. But RC got deprecated friends. Only the three components are available in Selenium. Selenium Web Driver, Selenium ID, and Selenium Grid. The first, first component in Selenium was Selenium IDE. So Selenium ID, if you want to work with a uh, not required any programming knowledge. Uh, what I said, Java, C sharp, Ruby, no programming knowledge is required when you're working with a uh, Selenium components uh, IDE. It's a, just a record and playback tool. It's a, just a record and playback tool. Just you record it. Whatever steps you are supposed to be do before doing that, just start recording and do operations, whatever you want to do. All the statements will be recorded. The last you stop it. Then you play it. Record and play back to. Just record, no transaction, stop recording and play back. Record and play back to. Not require any programming knowledge. By default, the backend it stores that recorded steps as a HTML format. 
okay na uh, but this one this uh, selenium id will be used for pilot projects for getting instant results in producing uh, client for instant results id is the supports in case real time we never use id friends just for to show the instant results to the client if any new project comes okay as for pilot projects we prefer as a id in saving the time in producing the instant results uh, in showing to the clients okay so um, and next up here what we recorded uh, the statements in one browser may uh, sometimes in not work in other browsers and some of the elements may not recorded uh, in using selenium id so these all drawbacks as considered and they have introduced one more component as selenium web driver so where if you want to work with the selenium web driver where we must be aware of any one of these language bindings any one of language bindings you must be aware of it by using any one of the language binding we are going to be build a selenium web driver scripts a robust browser based regression automation suits and tests we can build by using the selenium web driver tool when id will recorded only in one browser executed in one browser where in web driver um, uh, we can build in one browser can execute in n number of browsers that's what we if you want to create robust browser based regression automation suits and tests uh, then we go with the web driver developer one try one uh, browser web driver browser you can execute in many browsers okay fine once you build your uh, selenium web driver scripts uh, okay you have spent browsers yes then the same scripts you are supposed to execute for many platforms os and many browsers how can we execute the single script in executing in multi platform os and multiple browsers parallel with the help of the selenium grid component okay na if you want to scale by distributing and running tests on several machines uh, and manage multiple environments uh, from a central point uh, making it easy to run making it easy to run that tests again is the vast combination of browsers and operating system then we have to use the selenium grid there so developing your automation scripts using selenium we use selenium web driver by using any one of the language binding that developed automation scripts uh, we are supposed to scale and distribute uh, in executing in many computers many operating systems many browsers with the support of the grid concept so the appropriate combination for selenium was web driver with the grid which develops robust browser based regression automation suits and tests by using grid it scales and distribute in executing your developed scripts parallelly in many operating system and in many browsers using grid concepts so the appropriate combination for selenium was yes it was web driver and uh, okay na this combination we use for selenium friends selenium is a free it's a open source it's not a paid license software it's a open source there are so many uh, some automation tools are there which are paid one like uft right now what we are talking it's a paid license tool automation tool but whereas selenium is a open source so it's a non profitable organization selenium was a non profitable organization like you and me can contribute a Uh, any uh, suggestions any course any you want to develop you can be a, one of the sponsor level in the selenium you can take a, a membership uh, in a selenium there are some so various categories of sponsorship levels are there suppose you are the company xyz uh, you want to sponsor to the selenium yes be as a part of the selenium as a uh, there are some uh, platinum and gold like this sponsorship levels are there be part of that with your company and and contribute something for the selenium Uh, where we can contribute some we can develop build some codes uh, improving day to day the selenium like why is here there are see there are so many sponsor levels are there as i said it's a non profitable organization selenium tool is a non profitable organization there are so many uh, levels of uh, sponsors are there they are sponsoring and they are building that selenium day to day selenium level sponsors browser stack these are the companies are the selenium level sponsors if you go down support the selenium project what 
want to support the Selenium project, learn more, or view the full list of sponsors. If you click on learn more, you can see uh, not only Selenium level sponsors, we have um, we have uh, gold level sponsors, which is a micro focus organization, silver level sponsors, these are the companies uh, listed, and bronze level sponsors, these are the company listed. These are all companies together uh, sponsoring the Selenium to grow day to day. Would you like to your company be listed in this page? Just click on learn more about sponsoring for Selenium. So these are some sort of conditions that are given like CEO. So if you want to be a sponsor, any one of the category, what I shown you, Selenium level sponsors, you have to pay $20,000, platinum level sponsors, $10,000 like this. If your company wants to be part of the Selenium being as a sponsor, any one of the category base, Yes, your wish, you can be the sponsor level for this. Okay. Okay. So, yes. Mr. Mack. Yes. So friends, we're getting some noise. Uh, can you please turn my hand in a mute? Yes. Companies. Okay, I'm muting you. So, fine. So, uh, Selenium is an open source tool, free tool, uh, not required to purchase any license. There are so many sponsor levels uh, teams out there. They are sponsoring and building the Selenium day to day. So, what are the components uh, available in Selenium? Means Selenium web driver, Selenium ID, Selenium grid, and Selenium RC. Four components are there. RC got deprecated, only three components are there, uh, where the appropriate combination for Selenium was Selenium web driver with the grid. Using web driver, we build a robust browser-based regression automation suits and tests by using Selenium web driver. After developing that, we scale and distribute in executing the developer scripts parallelly in many operating systems and many browsers uh, with the support of the grid. This is the appropriate combination for Selenium. Okay, now. So, what are the components? What are the what are the what are the uh, what are the concepts we which we cover in the Selenium means? Let's uh, come to the uh, uh, yes, into this document. Yeah, let's have a glance. What concepts will be covering? Yes, we we see that uh, how to launch uh, various browsers and how to make the browser launching program dynamically because. Launching a browser is a common functionality for every test case. So how do we launch uh, various browsers uh, and adding the um, uh, JARS dependencies, okay? All those things, we'll see that. And next, coming to that, uh, option classes and uh, uh, profiles concept. Because uh, when we are running your test case through manually means uh, uh, everything, even presence will be there. If any source stoppers comes like notifications, proxy settings, any um certificate errors any information bus kind of things anything occurs when you does manually your intervention will be there you can handle that but when everything we are going through automation means so everything is automation engineer responsibility if any notifications comes you must handle through automation any certificate errors comes you must handle with automation everything is automation engineer responsibility so what we can do we have to take the browser into our control because uh, inform uh, like a um, like a uh, what is that um, um, information bars notifications all these comes through browsers certificates all these comes through browsers information bars all these comes through browsers maximizing the browser all these comes through browsers everything needs to be handled um, through uh, Selenium only on browser, whatever the activities appears when we are running through automation. So in that case, we have to take the browser into our control. We have to work another browser into our control. So how can we take the browser into our control means uh, by just creating our user defined browser profiles. While creating our user defined browser profiles, we can take the browsers into our control. So how do we create a pro user defined profiles for Chrome, Firefox? I'll show that. Once we take the browsers into our control using the options class, Chrome options class, Firefox options class, by using that uh, respect to browser corresponding options class, 
we can handle like information bars and maximizing the browsers, disabling information bars, notifications, page load strategies, certificators, proxy settings. What are, what, whatever we can do with a on browser manually, the same thing we can do with using options class. If you want to register settings, first of all, you have to take browser into our control just by creating our user defined browser profiles on that user defined browser profiles using options class, we can do necessary settings. Okay, and next come to the synchronizations. Friends are there, you know that scripts will be very fast in execution where application elements loading will take more time to load. It will be some delay time to load that any element if you're putting the target to do the action and load time will be very um, slow. So where there is a chance uh, failure of your script, uh, script is fast, application load time is very slow. So there is some gap is there where our scripts are getting failed. We have to put some synchronization between your application web elements and your scripts. So where we use some synchronization methods like thread dot sleep, implicit weight, explicit weight. So how we can sync that too, we'll see that. And next come to the locators. Point sir, uh, if web application has uh, so many web elements like text box, radio buttons, check box, uh, links, drop downs, okay, uh, web tables, web calendars, whatnot. So many elements are there in your web application. How do I interact them? How do I interact them? Then how we can interact means same simple example. Friends, we are the human beings. We want to identify any person. What we'll do? What will you do, friends? If you want to identify any person, what will we do? If I want to identify any person, what I will do, friends? Tell me. If I want to identify any person, what I will do? How can I identify the person? Identification or ID. Yes. What is the identification? Generally, if I want to call you, what I what I prefer to approach you? With what reference? With what property? I will approach you. Name. Name, name right? Name is one property. Of course, not only name. Every person has some set of properties uh, starting from baby coming from mother womb. First, if any baby comes from the mother womb, what we say, hey, baby is very handsome, very colorish. Names uh, are very length, long like this, we say. And like height, weight, the color, the complexity. Next, other card number. Next, Namakarna we do. First name, last name, nickname. Right? Uh, if he is staying in US, means SSL number. If he is eligible for if he is eligible for what? Card, okay, SSL number. Okay, if you're looking at employee means employee ID. All these are properties. All these are the properties for the persons. Of course, based on the situation, we'll use that property. Suppose the person is working as employee means. Uh, so, uh, what is the reference to identify that person there to calculate the salaries? If being as employee, I want to calculate employee salaries. ID. Employee is a unique ID for identifying the employees for calculating salaries. We are uh, contesting in elections. Uh, what is the identity there to identify you as a citizen of India? When you are contesting, uh, that's a voter card, right? You must be eligible. Yeah. You must be registered as a voter. You must be a member of right, which which is, which is like voter card we call. It. Suppose you are purchasing any electronic goods. What is the identity there? Other card number, right? What? Mm. Other card. Yes. So, uh, based on situation, we are using the identity. So, every person have identity properties. By using that unique identity properties, we are identifying the particular object. Similar way. In our web application also, we have so many web elements are there. How do we identify the web elements? Every web element has some set of properties like how human being has. ID, name, class name, expert, CSS, link text, password and text, tag name. Like this, so many properties are there, attributes. By using these identical properties, we are interacting the web elements. So especially on locators, we'll talk like six hours because most of the people will struggle on 
and working with locators only. And in that, especially experts, CSS selectors, how do we write our customizer? Two days we'll be talking on it. Out of six days, out of six hours, four hours is basic understanding of locators, and rest of two hours will be working on writing our own experts and own CS selectors dynamically. We'll see some examples also in some applications. Marvin project. So this is a build tool. In real time, if any project you want to build, we're using some build tools. Of course, we have so many build tools. Ant is there, Marvin is there, Gradle is there. Of course, Ant is deprecated. Now, right now, Marvin and Gradle, these are the build tools where we can build any projects. So uh, we'll be using the Marvin build tool. How can we build our projects? How can we add the dependencies? How can we add the uh, configurations? Okay. How can we uh, run the goals? Okay, how to how to run your uh, uh, project uh, through Marvin build? Okay, now through Palm XML, all those things will start in the Marvin build projects and test ng framework. Friends, uh, Selena itself uh, don't have any built-in frameworks where test ng is one of the Java defined framework. The test ng is a Java defined framework. So using the test ng framework, we are building our projects. In test ng, mainly we use a annotations uh, before annotations after annotations test annotations listeners data providers we have so many annotations are there everything we build through annotations execute through annotations only okay now so here we will we'll, we'll see that how to create test ng classes uh, what annotations uh, uh, takes place executions if we have more annotations uh, if you don't want to execute particular test case how do we skip it how do we set up priorities uh, when we are ex executing the multiple test cases? How to run your test cases parallelly? How to set the test dependencies? How to group the test cases? How to work with the listeners? How to work with the data providers? How to report it using assertion classes, soft assets, and hard assets? And we'll do one small pilot project in a test ng framework. So end to end test ng will be working for nine hours. Any project will be use the build tool Marvin and framework as a test ng. Without this, we never build any programs, any projects. And come to the uh, page object model. Page object model is one approach where we how we organize the pages. See friends, if you're talking about a web application, means in our web application we have a number of pages. Together, pages we call as a one website. Yes or no? How well you organize the pages? Okay. Instead of maintaining complexity in the pages, we so we, we make a breakdown the pages. Each page contains some web elements and some operations. Page level web elements and operations we, we organize in separate Java classes. Ten web pages are there, ten Java classes. Okay. So all these things we'll see the difference. So automating links. So majority of the web elements in your applications, we can find the links. A static links will be there, dynamic links will be there, broken links will be there, hidden links will be there. Okay, now how do we interact with links? A single link or group of links in a page or specific header portion links, how to interact? All these things one fine day will talk about automating links. And coming to the automating drop downs. Yes, in drop downs where we used to select an option, single option and multi options. How do we select the options in dropdown in various approaches? Using by send keys, using by select class, using by JavaScript executors, using by action classes. How do we select various options in dropdowns? You see that. And coming to the pop-ups. So some of the pop-ups will appear when we are running your scripts, like a security pop-ups, JavaScript pop-ups, HTML pop-ups, Windows pop-ups, Various pop-ups will be uh, occurred during executions and stops your executions. How can we handle various types of pop-ups in automation? We'll see that and come to the actions class. Some of the elements, some of the advanced elements can't be interacted directly with the web driver. In that case, we will take a support of the actions class. So here mouse hovering elements, right clicking, double clicking, chain actions, dragging and dropping elements, automating sidebars, like this kind of advanced elements directly cannot be performed with the web driver, then we'll take a support of the actions class. 
will discuss all those things and javascript executors what how uh, how we write a web driver scripts using selenium web driver interacting web elements how we perform the actions the same thing we can does with javascript executor also and one fine day we'll talk about javascript executor how do we identify the elements how do we write a scripts in using javascript executor also i will tell you that and uh, and coming to the windows components friends my selenium will not automate the windows elements it only automates the web elements only okay now if any window elements are appears uh, during execution of the selenium uh, using the uh, i mean when we are running web applications suddenly some windows elements occurs uh, how can we handle them nothing to worry so we will have uh, some open source windows automation tools are there auto it swiftly robotics like this windows automation tools are there by using any one of the free windows automation tool we can automate and we can execute it so here using auto it i'll tell you how to download how to install how to write auto it code how to compile the code how to associate this auto it code into the web driver script everything we will discuss on it and next come to that uh, automating ta uh, web tables so some of the elements will be present inside the tables like uh, static tables uh, dynamic tables will be there how do we work with the uh, different approaches and uh, uh, in web tables uh, we have a calendars and uh, paginations uh, web tables are there pagination web table means uh, one page one table will be there which contains 10 rows only if the 10 rows completed next 11 to 20 has to come so when i click on next button only next page will come next in next page one more table comes which is indexing with 11 to 20 that 20 fill the now next uh, next page i want to go with if i click on next uh, 21 to 30 will come like this, like this uh, web table paginations how do we work web tables web calendars static tables dynamic web tables we'll talk about this web table concept and when we are automating the scripts uh, so each step requires some test data uh, where do we organize the test data there are various data sources are there in that respect to data sources we are going to be organized from there we are taking them to the script like log fuji properties files xml files is uh, microsoft excel these are the various data sources where we use to organize our test data in giving to the test case steps so uh, only for uh, this uh, all this data management uh, we'll talk about seven to eight hours and next come to the grid so if we want to scale and distribute that your developed web driver scripts currently in many operating systems and many browsers we take support of the grid in grid we used to do some configurations like creating the hub and the nodes and there we pass the desired capabilities desired capabilities we are passing and passing that uh, the hub ip address okay all these things and we take our scripts to execute parallelly in many uh, um, operating systems and many browsers. So this is what we are going to be discussed in the uh, Selenium web driver window. And let's come to the DevOps. So DevOps is a culture uh, which extends so many components like Selenium how we have. Yes, DevOps has uh, uh, Ant uh, build tool, Marvin, Gradle build tools, and CDCA pipeline, Jenkins, and uh, uh, we have a SVN and source control tool like SVN, VSS, okay? uh we have um, we have so many um components are there like uh, chef uh, puppet ansible uh dockers kubernetes like this uh micro focus like this so many components together we call as a devops as culture where devops will be used by the developers will be used by the testers will be used by the integration team will be used by the deployment team almost every sector team will be used by uh, use that devops where testers we are mainly focused on the common components as Marvin build tool and uh, source versioning control tool as GitHub servers, GitHub servers and CDCI uh, Jenkins. These are the three components which we uh, cover in DevOps and come to that frameworks. Uh, we will be covering the uh, test ng. Age object model data even and lastly we do the project and the benefits are 
thin films you get, uh, you'll get soft copy metal. Get soft copy metal for Java and Selenium uh, and uh, recorded videos. I call videos uh, for one year view access and the source code uh, daily whatever daily whatever we build daily whatever we develop the programs for java selenium project every uh, source code i will commit in github server which is a uh, 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 server which is repository where uh, everyone can access that uh, code which is available in GitHub server. Source code uh, will uh, share through GitHub server on daily basis. So source code will be shared through GitHub server. So daily whatever programs I build in front of you. I will commit it in a GitHub server and I'll share it to everyone. So that is one of the source for you uh, to practice it. And recorded videos will be having for one year you access uh, and soft copy material for uh, Java and Selenium will be shared to that. And the course duration will be 0.5 months for code, content course, the code Java, Selenium, DevOps, framework project will take uh, uh, 2.5 months. And the daily Monday to Friday will be the sessions goes on. And occasionally I will take on weekends also only for this grid the Marvel GitHub server Jenkins because these are the configurations where I will not do in my system. I will take any one of you uh, screen share. I will make to happen in your system hands on. You will do that. I will explain from my from my end. So that's what a grid. Uh, if I talk about grid means uh, it will take four hours to complete the grid concept. So one day I can't uh, complete in one hour, right? And also time will be dragged. That's why only on weekends, out of two and a half months, of four weekends, four weekends, I will take uh, uh, to complete this. Marvin setup, GitHub setup, I will take six hours. Jenkins, I will take for six, six to seven hours like this. That's what uh, I'll take uh, four weekends uh, to complete these selected concepts like Grid, Marvin, GitHub, or Jenkins. But remaining uh, all the concepts, I will take regularly Monday to Friday, like two and a half months. I hope everyone understood. What is yes, my question? Right? Oh. Excuse me, sir. When we start this match? From tomorrow. Ne? Just today? From tomorrow. Ne? Yes, from tomorrow okay. we are going to start the regular classes. And what's the time? Uh, timing will be same. Uh, 8 to 9. Okay. 8 to 9 at morning. Yes. yes. Okay. And fee, sir? Uh, fee will be uh, 4,000. Okay. Okay, okay, sir. Then. Okay. And so other are also taking means API testing or mobile testing? No, this is purely uh, functional automation testing for Java, oh. Selenium, okay. Okay. and project. So if it is, if it is API means, uh, that's again 45 days course, that's separate. Okay, if it is, uh, you're talking about API, you were talking is a two or two months of course it was mobile testing is, is a 45 course database also 45 days course manual testing is the one month course like this okay some people will take we say like as a combo we will we'll do all those things within three months like this don't trust that kind of uh, uh yeah i ask you means you take that also in no, no, separate no no no, no, no. Oh, yeah. yeah but my okay. So after completion of that uh, functional automation testing, my suggestion is yeah. you will uh, take one more uh, comp one more tool like uh, either mobile testing or API testing that will make value advantage for your resume. Okay. Yeah. But everything is the for everything is the basis of functional automation testing selenium only. Even to work with, work with the mobile automation, even to work with, uh, API web services, uh, the base will be the uh, selenium functional automation tool only. Okay, sir. Excuse Thank me, you. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead, sir. Oh, I have joined a bit later. Can you provide your contact number? You will get the recordings. You will get the recordings. Today we had a demo session. 
So all end to end what I'm covering uh, for your batch, everything I'm giving. Yeah, yeah, I have joined uh, this demo session a bit late. Can you provide Which your contact? Product, uh, oh, we'll no, reach sir. you direct. No, sir. No. Contact be provided uh, you, uh management will be uh, reaching you directly so you'll be getting contact through mail only with me okay once you have done the payments uh, you'll be contacting through my mail ladies so every recordings will be come from me only not okay, that no? not just to di to discuss all of course and all yeah yeah everything will be get the recording okay you'll be get the recording sir okay okay Sir, for automation testing, how much is the fees course? Sir? 4,000. 4,000. If combined with manual? Uh, manual will be teach by uh, other person, not by me. Okay, okay. okay. Total of 2.5 months course for automation yes, testing. Yes, uh, complete uh, core Java, Selenium, DevOps, framework, and project end to end okay i need to only selenium with uh, testing sir so Sel selenium with selenium. selenium with java only see devops is part of selenium sir don't read like this is separate to <laughs> devops is part of okay. without frameworks we okay. cannot build your programs and lastly we do the project for for you uh, how you are building the project everything is uh, a package sir is nothing is a uh, different tools we are giving sir is all is built in there is no excuse okay, these are all five, five things come under uh, automation Selenium. testing yes yeah, see Selenium DevOps will be used by developers will be used by testers deployment team okay oh. um, every oh. person using is devops here in the testers we'll be involving in devops as marvin build tool github uh, distributed server jenkins as C pipeline this company will be used in the devops for selenium okay where okay. this is a setup which is component of selenium once you build your programs using web driver we scale and distribute in executing your developer scripts parallelly in many operating system and many browser with the support of grid okay no? offline videos will be available for this sir if you miss the class yes yes you'll be getting the recorded videos for one year view access one year access Okay, when will uh, we... sorry when will yes, the main when will be the main session will start sir this is the from tomorrow. From, tomorrow. from tomorrow from tomorrow okay 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 sir uh, sir how to pay you any uh, management will reach you madam Management will be communicating you through mail. They'll call you personally also. So oh. you can talk to them, okay? Oh, okay, sir. Okay, then. And sir, how to join daily basis? Because this is a very lengthy process. Yes, this is the link uh, for one week is going to be work. After one week, uh, the link is going to be changed. We'll get the update from the management of change of link. Okay? Nothing to worry. Yeah. And you start before you join with your mail ID and your name and your phone number. Management will... Uh, personally contact you will inform you all the updates regarding the payments and the recording the any milling changes everything they will be communicating with you okay now any certificate uh, will be there at the end of this yes course. Course completion certificate if you request for the management they'll be providing you but uh, that uh, any any institutes are giving the course complete certificate this doesn't make uh, any value also just the people satisfaction that's it as i believe i'm, I'm saying that okay okay there will be no value for the certificate if any institutes are providing, okay? Honest, I'm saying that. So many people will be asking like this, will you provide certificate? No use of the certificate, okay? If you want, the commandment will be providing you, not issue for that, okay? Just a contact management. Uh, so, and I'm now working, so I want to change my career in automation. So, can I... Do experience of that means suppose after completion of this course. Sorry, sorry. Miss, I'm now working on manual testing, so I want to change my career in automation. Okay. So means, uh, so 
I knew that experience for this course. Not required. You can put your manual testing as just put like you work for how many years to six years you have been in this uh, testing, right? No, no, no. I have two year experience in manual. No issues. You can put like a two months as a manual testing, one and a half year as a automation. That's it. Kind of close. Genuine company you have. Okay. No need to go for an extra certificate also, right? You have genuine experience for two years. You better keep, uh, you yeah. work as an automation engineer for two years. Otherwise, uh, six months for uh, manual testing. See, nowadays there is no matter of uh, manual testing automation. You are as an automation engineer, that's it. All is okay. all. I, earlier, the people manual testing separate team, uh, automation separate team, uh, performance separate team like this, it was there. Now it is not like that. All rounder. One person works for n number of tools. Okay, now nah? okay. work for manual, you work for automation past two years. Nothing matters. It's a genuine, right? Genuine. No, no, no. When they called, uh, they asked now nah, what is the relevant experience in automation. That's why I asked. Oh, then you can put like uh, a starting line join for manual testing. Later, I uh, I was uh, trying and I was uh, shifted to the automation pass for an affair. You can keep that, not issue. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Enough. Enough. Yeah. Nothing matters. So, and one more thing. And so, only one bike is there tonight. Sorry? Sorry? M means morning batch is there only, not to that evening batch. Uh, no, madam. No evening batch right now, apparently. Only the morning batch, you know. Okay. Okay, no problem there. Okay. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay friends, uh, if you don't have any queries, we are good to stop for today. Shall I? Yeah, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, what friends. Time, uh, yes. Tomorrow at what time can you start the session, sir? Same timing, uh, 8 to 9. 8 to 9. We started the session 8. Of course, I'm having some technical issues. I joined a little bit of 15 minutes late, I guess, myself, because some technical issue I faced. Management has helped me to solve that problem. So sharp 8, 8 means 8.5 eight by 8.5 eight is going to be start. I start meeting by 8 o'clock. The exact uh, uh, class starts on 8.5. Uh, but tomorrow right. only for paid persons. Yeah, first two, three class will be uh, free right. only. Third, third class, you have to pay the fees, okay? That means uh, tomorrow will be third class. Huh? Today is second, today is first class, sir. Sir, today's can you class. hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma sir, yes. actually, uh, what has happened is like, uh, uh, since I'm working now and my the new project I've been assigned and for that I'm learning for this course and in case if I'm doing, if I get some error or if I need some help or support, uh, can I contact you? Uh, madam, uh, I, will, I will tell you. So uh, if anybody wants any job supports, I can refer some other persons. Okay. 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 If you have any issues, okay, uh, I, I will give you some reference number. You can contact them, okay? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah.